Hey everybody and welcome back to 365 Riffs for Beginning Guitar. Today we have the Rolling Stones on the menu with an added bonus, so stick around. First of all, I want to say thank you for watching. You can go to my YouTube channel and check out the playlist that features all of these riffs. Hundreds and hundreds of them since January 1st, 2017. And uh, I bet you might have missed one or two in there somewhere. Don't worry, they're all there on the playlist and you can check them out. Now, today's riff is in an open D tuning. Don't freak out, I'm gonna help you out with that. But it's the only way to get the right sound. And while we're in the open D tuning, I'll show you some other fun things you can do with it. First of all, let's check out the main riff here. that classic sound of Street Fighting Man. Now, while we're in this tuning, let's do something else a little more bluesy, just for the fun of it, so you can get some extra practice time in open D tuning. So first of all, let's tackle the open D tuning. You're going to be loosening three of your strings, and three of them are going to stay the same. Sixth string, loosen down a whole step, two frets lower down to D. And you can use your fourth string, D, as a reference point. You're also going to tune your first string down to D. You're going to loosen it down to D. And again, you can use your fourth string, D, as a reference point. Second string, it was B, now it's going to be A. And guess what? You can use your fifth string, A, as a reference. And lastly, your third string is going to get loosened from G down to F sharp. Okay? So we have, with a new open D tuning, D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. And of course, an electronic tuner makes this a lot easier, but let me give you a few tips. First of all, whether you use an electronic tuner or any method, you want to check and recheck. Okay, once you start messing with the conventional tuning, uh, you can't count on anything to be perfect unless you check a few times. Uh, my second tip is always be tightening. A, B, T. Meaning, when you're loosening a string, say from E down to D, bring it down a little bit below pitch, a little bit below D, maybe into the vicinity of C sharp. And the final move should be tightening the string, okay? Always be tightening. Your final step should be bring the string up to pitch from looser to tighter, okay? That way the gears in the tuning machines hold better. So your final step should be tightening. Okay, you get the idea. And then check and recheck. Basically, if it sounds good to your ear, you've probably got it, but it can't hurt to check a few times. Okay, now let's get into the intro. A uh, bar at 10. Now, this is what's going to be weird for a lot of you. A bar flat across at the 10th fret. It's going to be all downstrokes with the right hand, um, but that bar at 10 is going to feel kind of strange. If you get a little buzzing in there, um, that's not the worst thing, okay? That's almost in, in keeping with the rock and roll flavor of this tune. Um, right now, that's called a C chord. A bar at 10, six strings across, is called a C chord. And what you're going to add, middle finger, third string, 11, ring finger, fifth string, 12, that turns the C into an F chord. So let's talk about the intro. The intro, we have those two downstrokes on all six strings, followed by, let's see, what's that, about five strokes on the heavier bass strings, and then we add the second, third fingers for two strums, emphasizing the fatter strings now, all six strings, the fatter strings, and the final stroke is back to the C. Okay, now I know you see that all that spelled out on the screen in front of you, but that's how we're going to achieve the authentic sound, all downstrokes. Okay, now let's get into the verse uh, and the strumming for the verse right now. Now for the verse... The downstrokes continue, doing all downstrokes here, so I'm not going to talk about the strumming too much. We're really going to focus on your fretting hand. We still have the bar at 10, we have the C with no extra fingers, we have the F where you do add the second third fingers. Uh, now, Keith Richards is taking a lot of liberties with the chord changing here. What I'm going to show you is a good uh, estimate, a good average of how he's strumming it. It sounds like this.
okay? Again, all downstrokes. What we have is eight strokes, a series of eight strokes, and it's all Fs except for, ready, the third and the seventh. I know it sounds crazy. Watch this. I'm going to lift my fingers off on the third and seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? There you go. Almost like a backbeat sound. The C, the one finger C chord is showing up like a backbeat, like a drummer. Okay, and that's going to carry you through the verse. Now you definitely have the green light to to experiment with that, but that'll get you in the ballpark. Okay, now let's talk about getting out of the verse into the chorus. Uh, fighting, uh, the time is right for fighting in the street, boy. Okay, right on street, we're beginning the sequence of eight, and we're going to get into another position on the guitar down at the fifth fret. Okay, and I want to ease you into it as we go into the chorus. So here it comes. Fighting in the streets. So right on street we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like you'd expect. Now the final measure right before the chorus goes like this. Four uh four Fs. This is different. Okay, so four Fs. One, two, three, four, one C. Fifth fret bar. That's gonna be a G chord, okay? Two of those. And one the variation on G, it's a, kind of a G suspended chord. Middle finger uh, six on the third string, ring finger seven on the fourth string. This is right before, right as you're saying, what can a poor boy do, okay? That single chord. Now we're going to get back to this chord in a second, but this is the transition into the chorus, okay? So we had four Fs. One, two, three, four, one C. Two Gs here at five. One G suspended, and then we're right into the chorus, which we'll get to right now. Now here at the chorus, Keith Richards is alternating between the one finger bar at five, the G chord, and the G suspended chord. And again, he's taking some liberties, so when I, I want to show you a way you can get through that, um, but there's definitely ample opportunity to, uh, to improvise um, with when you put those fingers down to create the G suspended and when you lift them off. But to get you started, right on uh, what can a poor boy do? Check this out. Starting with the G suspended. Okay, we have an eight stroke sequence. Three, the first three on the G suspended and the following five on the regular G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and you can alternate back and forth, but feel free to improvise in there, okay? No matter what, you're going to have that index finger down. Now, that's going to carry you right through uh, sleepy London town. There's just no place for a street fighting. And right on, man, guess what? Let go. Just let go and open G tuning. Street fighting, man. And you're banging out that open G. Nothing more beautiful than banging out an open chord, no fretting whatsoever. You're going to do four measures worth. That's 16, uh, let's see, that's what, 32 strokes on the, uh, on the open D strings. So right on Street Fighting Man. Street Fighting Man. One, two, three, four. Second time. Third time. Fourth measure. And that kicks right into, essentially, the intro. And then you're back in the intro and the song continues on. All right, so there you have it. The chorus and the segue back into the intro of the tune, which leads to the next verse. Now, we've covered Street Fighting Man and open D tuning. Stick around, though. Don't go anywhere, because I'm going to show you some nice blues that you can play while you're in open D tuning. A little extra bonus here from me to you. Now, there's a lot you can do with the open D tuning in the world of blues. You heard me play a blues riff at the very beginning of the video, and let's do it right now. Okay, so what we have is the open sixth string, a slide on the fourth string, up to the third fret. Doesn't matter where you start the slide from, open fourth string, and then a double pull off on the fifth string. I only plucked it once, but I had a finger planted at five and a finger planted at three, fifth fret and third fret. Double pull off. 
Now, it's okay if that final pull-off sounds kind of quiet. That's to be expected. The listener won't really notice that because you're already into the second half of the riff. Starts with the open six string like before, but ring finger slide to five on the fourth string. Three in the fourth string. Open fourth string, and here's a double pull-off again. So we have the first half. And the second half. There you go. Some nice blues in the open D tuning. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out my website, Songbike, down there. All right, you can become a member for 10 bucks and get access to a lot of great videos just like this one. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow for the next Riff of the Day.